can you really say that you've visited Switzerland if you have not visited the home of chocolate in Zurich? When you walk in, you're first greeted with this enormous chocolate fountain that kind of reminds me of Willy Wonka. We straight away got started on our chocolate tour and this is a self-guided tour and you can pick up one of the audio guides if you want to. The first part of the tour is about cocoa cultivation and some of the processes that are involved in turning cocoa into chocolate. Then we jump into learning more about the Swiss pioneers whose inventions revolutionized the world of chocolate in the 19th century. Here you can see some of the older versions of the packaging and designs of the chocolates. The next part was arguably one of my favourite parts of the tour because here we get to see the process that transformed the beans into cocoa liquor, then into liquid chocolate and finally into the bars. And the best part is you get to sample the chocolate every step of the way. So the first chocolate that we sampled was the milk chocolate and I think this was my favourite out of the three chocolates that are available, dark, milk and white. So the second one that we tried was white chocolate and to be fair, I'm never really a huge fan of white chocolate. I don't even think it qualifies to be a chocolate if I'm being honest. And the last one that we tried was dark chocolate which was really really very nice and smooth as well. After you're done with filling your stomachs with liquid chocolate, you just move on up and then here is where the solid chocolate bars are being dispensed. And it was really really cool because you just put your hands out and little bars of chocolate just drop out like it's magic. So we really ate quite a few bars while we were here. Nearing the end of the tour, they have a cute little photo booth that's set up with many different background options that you can choose and once you're done, they will project the photos onto a huge wall for everyone to see. But they will also email a copy to you for your own reference. And here you can take one chocolate from each flavor home for free and they had many different flavors that I normally don't see like cheesecake and raspberry cream. Once you leave the tour and you come out, you also get to see a little bit of their pilot plant which was really quite cool. They also had this really cute contraption where you can scan the QR code of your ticket and you will get one free sample of chocolate each. And we let the kid at the end actually take our chocolate because he was eyeing it the whole time and it felt wrong to fight a child for a chocolate. And of course, all the free chocolate that we got was still not enough and we went to the gift shop and bought a whole bunch of chocolate. But honestly, how can you resist? They had really cool and interesting flavors and of course, we had to try all of them. And all the chocolate made us really thirsty and hungry so we decided to go to the cafe and grab a quick bite. So if you're ever visiting Zurich, you definitely have to come by and check out the home of chocolate.